Hey there, today I want to show you how to get different NPCs with different roles, different tasks. Like here, we have a stonecutter, a woodcutter and a laborer. So let's start with the roles. As I said, we have a laborer, a woodworker and a stonecutter. But you can extend this enum with any other role. In addition, we also have a working status. These ones are idle, walking and working. You can also extend this depending on how complex your game is, like sleeping or having fun. To assign tasks for our workers, we need some workable objects like resources together or construction sites. Here we have a resource type, a boolean if it's workable or not, and a public method where an NPC can get the amount of work. For the resources, like trees and stones, we have the resource base class. Here we implement the work method. This one is pretty similar to the one in the last video. And it's also implemented by the resource stone and the resource wood class. For the construction sites, we have our building class. So if an NPC is building, we build this building here. And once it's finished, we give it the assigned material. So to assign the workers, we have the NPC manager. Here, we start a coroutine and check for idlers every one second. In here, we first get all workers by the tag and then check if their current status is idling. If so, we send them to work. To check which work they can do, we first have to get the NPC character worker, which holds the current role. So if it's a stone cutter, we search for the next stone. If it's a wood worker, we search for the next tree. And if it's a laborer, he can get many tasks. So we have to check that in a different method. And as default, we define everyone as a laborer. So in our find laborer work method, we first check for construction sites by getting all workable objects from our object manager. If we have one, we send our NPC character to the next object. If not, we ask our resource manager which one is the resource with the lowest value and send our laborer to this one. And that's pretty much it. We can extend our scripts with new roles very easily. So tell us in the comments what you think about this implementation. And would you done anything in a different way? So, I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.